वेलकम बैक सो टुडे आई एम अगेन विद द टॉपिक ऑफ लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन लास्ट टाइम वी स्टडी अबाउट लीनियर रिग्रेशन सो दिस टेक्निक इज बेसिकली यूज फॉर क्लासिफिकेशन प्रॉब्लम इन इन लीनियर रिग्रेशन वी स्टडीड एंड वी हैव सीन वी आर प्रोडिक्टिंग ए कंटिन्यूस वेरिएबल इन डिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल बट इन दिस लॉजिस्टिक रिग्रेशन वी विल बेसिकली प्रोडिक्ट the binary variables binary output so what is logistic regression basically logistic regression is used to predict categorical dependent variable categorical means the output will be either 1 or 0 so it can be yes or no positive or negative so you will expect only the categorical variables so logistic function or logistic regression in are basically uh, getting the linear regression converting linear regression into logistic regression converting continuous variable into discrete variable so we have basically the logistic function formula h of x g of z is equal to g of beta transpose x beta transpose x is basically our linear function so what we are doing here basically we are taking linear input and then converting into probabilistic form of output either 0 or 1 so we are basically taking linear function and converting linear function into discrete function or discrete output so the previously we calculated linear a function now we are cal going to calculate the uh, logistic output or zero or one output so we have g of z is equal to g of beta transpose x is equal to 1 over 1 plus e minus z this function is basically our logistic function so this curve is basically uh, explain the, the logistic function z this z is basically our logistic function and the function we obtained is in the form of curve not in the form of linear boundary it is basically a curve we obtained s shape curve so what this curve is explaining this curve is explaining if we have the z value is a very large z value is basically our continuous value so if we our z value is too large then we will predict through logistic function the value of 1 so if z approaches to infinity positive infinity then we will have our output as 1 and if z is approaches to negative infinity then we will have our output as 0 according to this function because g of z is equal to 1 plus e raised to power minus z so basically what what is this math actually this math is explaining how our linear input is converting into zero or one output so we have basically we are starting from here we have this logistic function we are taking a linear function as an input and convert them into binary output either 0 or 1 so if z approaches to infinity if the value of z is very large and then we will put it the value of z here then we will get the value of 1 because when you uh, calculate the value of this function it comes out as 1 because e raised to power minus infinity becomes equal to 0 and e raised to power minus infinity becomes equal to 0 so total uh, in uh, if our z value is negative if z is approaches to negative infinity then g of z is going to approach to zero so this is basically we are converting our linear function into discrete output and then i want to explain about decision boundary how uh, our Uh, how this method is used for classification for example 
if you have uh, two points positive and negative if you have like uh, two different uh, different points and you want the holes and uh, basically cross if you want to separate these two uh, entities you need a decision boundary you need basically a line which will separate these uh, these two entities so we have this decision how this decision boundary will come this decision boundary if we say predict if we say prediction is one then we have this logistic function h of x is equal to g of beta transpose x so when this function will be equal to one if beta transpose x is should be greater than equal to 0.5 so if the all the values which are greater than 0 0.5 they will give a output as 1 if all the values having uh, values uh, uh, of beta transpose x less than uh, 0 0.5 they will give us output as 0 so if beta transpose x value is greater than equal to 0 0.5 we will have output as 1 so and if beta transpose x value is less than basically 0 0.5 we will have output as 0 so if we have a function or hypothesis beta 0 plus beta 1 x 1 plus beta 2 x 2 suppose we take beta we suppose we take the values of parameters as minus 3 1 and 1 then our function will uh, will look like this minus 3 plus x 1 plus x 2 and finally we get this decision boundary x1 plus x2 is equal to 3 so this decision boundary is from minus uh, is basically ranging from 3 to 3 so this line is basically dividing uh, the basically the red color points and the black color uh, points so this is how you can have your uh, decision boundary which will separate both uh, both of the points uh, this is basically a linear decision boundary. In the future lectures, we will discuss how you get a nonlinear decision boundary. But lastly, I would like to mention decision boundary is basically a function of our parameters like beta 0, beta 1, and beta 2. It is not a function of our data set. So, uh, decision boundaries or decision function is basically function of parameters and hypothesis it is not the function of data set so in the upcoming lecture we will study about nonlinear decision boundaries so i hope you guys like this video and have a good grasp of both uh, hypothesis function of logistic regression and how you can get the decision boundary linear decision boundary for logistic function thank you very much and uh, please uh, like and subscribe my channel for upcoming videos. Thank you so much.